So I'm finally here. I'm finally going to do it. I'm going to show you how I make potato pancakes, latkes. The kosher of the kosher. I'm sure all of y'all have been waiting for this. I know I have. I've been uh, dreading having to do it, but now is the time. So we're going to... I got five potatoes. One onion. So that's not the recipe, though. All right, so check it out. I say eight large potatoes to one average size onion. That's it. That's, that's the whole damn thing. Now, the rest of it is in the technique and how you prepare it. And yeah, the background, the background noise is my washing machine going off. I got to multitask. We got to do this, bro. We got to get this out here. All right. So I stopped cooking with that uh, um, canola oil, vegetable oil type of stuff. So now I'm going to uh, show you what my alternative has become. Turn this guy on. Nope. Yep. All right. I don't know if you can see that, but this is avocado oil, high flash temperature. No more lighting my kitchen on fire. It's a rental. So maybe I should go back to laying the kitchen on fire. I mean, after all, it's a rental, right? But, no. It wasn't super expensive like I thought it was going to be either, so I'll, I'll use a good amount of it. I want this pat, pot hot when I finally, you know, leave those lockers in there. Alright. So, five potatoes. You just said, hey, it's eight large potatoes to one average onion. That's a large onion. What are you going to do? So check it. Obviously, I'm allowed to cut pieces away of the onion and not use it. There's no law. No one can stop me. And I'm then going to be using the blender. Dun, 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 dun. So, that blender will be the special secret that gives everything seasoning. Because I've used this blender quite a bit for liquefying dog food. Because when you have a dog that's 18, sometimes you need to liquefy it in the blender. So that's what the secret flavor of today will be. Dog food. Don't knock it until you've tried it. I'm going to start peeling all these potatoes. That's too damn low. I'm gonna get a chair. serrated my uh, level there. Do not serrate your level there. Alright. Can I zoom out just a tad? Can't wait for DMG to be like, hey, you just whistled. That whistle is proprietary. I do not like DMG. They can go suck it. They call, keep on calling out videos I have that have Beethoven, which I looked up numerous times is in public domain. Just won't let it go. They know it's Beethoven too. They're like, hey, you're using Beethoven. That belongs to us. And I'm like, no public domain bitches they know it's public domain and they're still calling me out assholes
Not a lot to do while peeling potatoes except peel potatoes. I always peel away from uh, my body. My body. Me body. I don't know how to say that in another language. Sorry, everyone. I could say for free in Russian. It's uh, pretty useful for when you need to have things free in Russian. No, I won't. I won't share the secret with you. It's my words. It's peace blotna. I lied. I'll share it with you. It's peace blotna. It, it always impresses Russian people. They're like, oh, for free, this guy gets it. Oh, funny American. Alright, I uh, still got plenty of potato to peel, friends. I could peel it faster, but I've been working during the day sometimes. Fuck. It was bound to happen, y'all. You can't peel potatoes while dropping one in the trash can eventually. It's, it's like some kind of law or some shit. Fuckery. I have no idea if the camera's pointing at the trash can. Does it really matter? I'm peeling a fucking potato. If you think of the sound of me peeling potato sounds nice, like the sound of the peeler. Fuck you. Go ASMR somewhere else. I hate peeling potatoes. Hate it. If you think the sound is cool because you're interested in audio, thanks man, I worked really hard. Appreciate that compliment. So what I like to do after this, I like to uh, always clean my peeler first because I don't like to dig, dig into the dish. Dig into the sink while it's full of dishes is terrible. So I always clean my peeler when I'm done.
All right, that's taken care of. Let's get the shop back up to where it needs to be again for the food. There it is. Let's zoom in. Got to tight in. Let's get it tight in on that frying pan. It's still doing its frying action. All right, cool. Here we are. Awesome. So, I'm gonna cut up this onion and only take what I want from it. The reason why you don't want too much onion in your latkes is it makes the batter sticky to the frying pan. You want a good amount, so I'll use the bigger chunk. Save that one for later. So, the chunk that you see that I cut let me zoom in again. I wash my hands again. I really need to get someone to work the camera for me. Video transmitters are the shit, though, aren't they? I'll take this moment to say that this podcast is sponsored by Photo Rental Source by the fact that they give me all the gear for free to use to podcast with, pretty much. I'm shooting on a Fuji X-H2 with the 50-140 to X-mount lens. It is Fujifilm. It is amazing. I have this sucker set to classic cinema style, green cinema, so if you feel like I got a Quentin Tarantino vibe going, because I'm the shit. Okay. All right, I'm going to get a shot on that blender because I'm going to dump some stuff in the blender. Let's zoom out a little bit. Okay, that's a decent shot of the blender. So the real question is, how much do you want to chop up your tomato potatoes before you, you know, stuff them in the blender? You don't want to go overboard, but you got to get those chunks. You got to. I'll keep the video on the blender because it's much more interesting than chopping regular sized chunks. But the technique is pretty simple. I make the big pieces turn into smaller pieces. The hard part was peeling the damn onion. God, do I hate that. Uh, not, and I hate peeling the potatoes even more. All the potatoes are way worse. Onion is just gross, so the outside of it. But I guess I hate peeling the potatoes way worse. Alright, I'm gonna really chop off this. <laughs> chop off. I'm going to chop you off, huh? My girl chopped me off before I went to work today. Ok. 
Okay. All right. Cocksucker, go in there. All right. saturated time to pour on the salt yeah I'm not going tiny tiny amounts this time around you need a shit ton of salt it is a kosher recipe it will not work proper without a bunch of bunch of salt all tastes like it's missing salt all right kill myself with salt. And some pepper. I don't need a lot of pepper. Cap back on. <sighs> here are you happy you happy you guys see the blender all right so the next part this is where all my goyish friends go wrong everyone who is non-jew misses this part you see that you see that column there i'm gonna do something with it The only way that this can work, the only way that this can work is if you get all of the water out. All of it. Not some. All of it. Though. Well, most of it. You gotta, you gotta go for broke is what I mean. You gotta try, try, try to get the water out. Alright, let's see if I can zoom in on a shot of the sink. Well, I am doing said thing. All right. Put that there. This is a disposal. I'm going to lose a lot uh, through material through this, but I don't have a finer grade strainer. If you have a finer grade strainer than the one I got, use it. If you have. I've even thought about getting some nylon pantyhose, pouring the whole mix in there and just squeezing out the water. That's come across my mind. I hope I didn't put in too much onion. If I put in too much onion, which I think I might have, this whole thing's going to stick to the bottom of the frying pan. So I'm okay with. So I need the rest of the recipe. The rest of the potatoes I have for the next seven week lock gun switch will be in a couple of days. I'll do it better. If I remember to live stream the second time me doing this, will be a lot better. I always have to refresh. Yeah, it smells a little bit too oniony. I'm okay with that though. Got a lot of oil in there. I'll put in more in a second too. I'll produce some more. 
So I'm going to wash my hands and I'm going to push down on that. I want to squeeze out as much of the water as possible. Right. Oh, that's super liquidy. I'm just trying to push it through. I don't know if it's working at all. But my experience is over time, I do get all the liquid out. feels way better than working with chicken by the way this actually feels kind of nice it's soothing it's like cool but not cold it's kind of got like grainy and grainy texture to it oh that's a lot of onion i feel it in my eyeballs All right, you're going to want to make sure your nails are clipped for when you do this, too. Oh, I'm wondering if I should uh, grind up another onion. If it sticks to the pan real bad, it's because I didn't heat myself and grind up another onion. Um, why do I keep on saying onion and potato? Because I keep thinking there's way too much onion in the recipe. And what too much onion does is it makes it stick to the frying pan real bad. You have that, have that balance of onion between potato, and this is literally just potato, onion, and salt. This is, uh, yeah, pretty much it. And then the rest of it is getting that water out. That water's not good to, to eat anyways, if I'm being honest. It's got all that lectin crap in it. It's the reason why people say don't eat potatoes. It's that watery fluid shit that I'm separating out now. Ooh, my eyes are stinging from that onion. Just thinking about all the people that made me sad this week. Ooh, the mean things they said to me. Ah. Why are they so cruel? Why won't anyone let me change in the lane? I need to exit. Why won't you let me over? Also, use your blinker. I mean, come on. Oh. All right, you'll notice that it gets a little firmer, like you'll stick and you can form patties, kind of, when you get all the water out. I'm trying. And you're like, what happened to all that latka mix you just had? Well, most of it was water. Most of it was lectins you don't want to eat anyways. Hopefully the uh, salt didn't disappear with the uh, water. You know how water and salt dissolve? Alright. That seems good. So I did lose a lot of material through it. That was probably okay, but whatever. This is the game we play. Alright, cool. Oh no, that was watery crap. I mean, there was some, some in there, but that was mostly watery crap.
Now, if this was olive oil, it would be on fire by now. Because that is a hot, hot pan of hotness. Okay, there's my mix, there's my pot, I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to put a little bit more salt in because I think I might have lost a bunch to the uh, draining process. Do worry about it having lack of flavor because lack of salt. You don't want, I don't want a lot of salt on my diet. You don't want a lot of salt in your diet. But this is Lacos. This is Jewish. Alright. Should be able to make two to three giant Lacos after that. You don't get a lot. I would get more if I had a better string process because there's a lot that I lost that was liquidy that could have been like grabbed. But there we go. Push that down like that. Okay. guys, same as everything else you've ever done in your life, same exact rules, brown around the edge, flip it, cook it till completely cooked, then eat. Not yet. Woo! Wasn't soon enough. Or too soon. Yeah, too soon.
I love this recipe. So simple. It's a lot of potchki. It's a lot of work to do, but man, is it awesome. If you can find a grandma like myself to make you a latke, you know that that's true love. Um, this sucker is good on that side. I'm going to flip it back over. I like mine a little bit more. Uh, uh, uh. Some bitch just no cook. I'm going to turn off the heat on this a little bit. So I'm going to sit in here. I want done latke, so damn. Ain't that nice? 50 to 140 f2.8. I only got it on uh, 24 frames a second, but this is amazing. I'm going to record some of this, hopefully. So you cut me off the air. I just want to get some of that for my sizzle. I was able to get any of that sound. It's cool though. That's the color you want. That's a Don Lockett's look right there. You guys see that? That's what you want. Perfect golden brown. I like this. This is nice. Just me and you guys just in the kitchen cooking up some traditional Jewish food. This isn't going to make a lot of latkes. I'm probably going to get like three latkes out of all those potatoes. It's insane. I need to get a better strainer. I think that was the issue here. Join your brethren in the locker. That done latke looks so good. Look at that guy. That's pretty incredible. Yeah, let's get the front of that latke in focus. Ooh, look at that. Ash is good. So simple. Such an easy recipe. No cornstarch. No flour. Oh, that's too hot. It's too damn hot. Like steam came out of that when I ripped it a piece. I want to eat that. Oh, ha, 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 mm. Mm. not too much onion, oh, hot, mm. hot, that 
that's pretty incredible. Ooh, that's got like a little bit of that pepper kick afterwards. I kind of like that. Come on, you can do it. A lot of folks is having trouble here. I'm getting there. It's almost ready to flip. I love how each pancake has its unique shape, its unique zones, like continents and countries. It's quite awesome. All right, I'm going to flip this bad boy over and see what we have. Cook some lakas up. Get them lakas going. The potatoes of my peoples. Let my potatoes be eaten. Oh, so good. I should have bought some applesauce. You eat latkes with applesauce. You eat latkes with sour cream. You eat latkes with ketchup. This is a fucking ketchup. Yum. My latkes and cheesecake, I put those two dishes up against anyone else's versions of them. So good. I bet this one's ready to come off too. What? 
Yup, that's done. There. I like to use the spatula and then use the bottom of the spatula to spread out the latke. You kind of have to form the shape of it in the pan. It's not going to, like, you know, out, you know, spread out like a flour pancake would. This is the last one. The last one you have to make ginormous. I didn't make the rolls, you just do. So, five potatoes gave me roughly three large latkes. But I lost a lot of laka when I was uh, separating the water from it. I feel like I could have gotten more of the pulp and less of the water if I had a better straining situation going on, which I don't have. It is what it is, right? Can't do it with water, so... Ah, laka. So I like to use a um, paper towel underneath my lacas when I'm putting them down and I'm done. I know you're thinking, you're using avocado oil. That's good fat. Why not keep that? It's just too much, man. It, laka it just has a better consistency if it, you let the oil drain out a little bit. It's just too much. Like You get a better mm, crunch to it, you know? Slakas turned out really, really good. I haven't made lakas in a real long time, so I'm glad that this is turning out the way it is. A lot of the times, these live shows end up becoming my lunch prep for tomorrow. There's not going to be anything left over. I'm going to eat these three lakas right now. I'm not going to share them with my brother either. I'm just going to eat them. Now I'm in the stage of my career where I'm using the camera to see if uh, the edges are uh, cooked enough because it's not as hot here as it is in front of the frying pan. Yeah, let's watch that vodka cook. That oil's frying it up real nice, just edging it, edging it, edging it all night just more and more and more and it's hot and it's steamy and it's cooking up real nice and there's bubbling and boiling and it's just going and it's starting to brown and juices are moving and it's cooking it's hot so so hot Imagine what that vodka does when it's all by itself. I bet that vodka likes to think of you. About how hard you work. How dedicated you are. The vodka gets everything ready just for you. It has the flavor. I think I got something for my sizzle reel. I'm 
shooting on a Fuji X-H2 with a 50 to 140 2.8 X mounted Fuji film glass. Got a Rode Wireless Go 2 for the sound. I'm labbed up to the camera. The camera's being video transmitted with a Hollyland Cosmo C1 system over to my Blackmagic Ada Mini Pro which is going into OBS and then into Restream and out into the Metaverse, into the Potatoverse. How I get all the things to work, all the custom functions, all that, the sound, making that work, that, that takes some experiment and uh, practice. It's basically all I'm doing with all of this is practicing it, practicing, practicing. Getting good for when people hire me, you know, like I got a wedding where I'm going to live stream coming up. The gear is going to be tested. It's going to go down. I'm going to make sure it works right. I got backup. I got anticipation. I got everything I need to be successful. I just got to, you know, go out and do basically what I'm doing now, you know, just like put up the gear and go up, just do it, you know. It's the hardest and the easiest part of all of this. Let's see uh, if this lock gets any done, man. Like we can, uh, we can be done with the live stream as soon as this lock is over, and I can clean the kitchen tomorrow. Fuck, when it, you know, right before it's time to podcast again. Because this shit is a disaster zone. Like, I fucked up this kitchen making these latkes. It's another reason why I don't do this too often. Alright. Let's get this guy flipped. He looking good. Move this other one over a little. Put that. Put this one. Yo, yes. Alright. All right, there you have it. I'm all set. You're all set. You can make latkes. I can make latkes. We all can make latkes without cornstarch, without flour, without filler. All you need is a goddamn latke to be made from potatoes and onions and salt. That's it. Well, I need some black pepper. I threw some black pepper in there. Hell, fuck. I crushed up some... Uh, Red pepper flakes, I put that shit in there too. It it can work. But this is it. That's basically all you gotta do. Let, let's zoom back over. Show you those guys. Let's do a little bit. Come on. Out of focus, do your thing. So annoying. Alright, the autofocus system is to be desired on the Fuji H2. I'm going to say that. Maybe it's the spy I'm using, but that kind of fucking blow. Alright, cool. So I'm going to check to see when I stop uh, recording if it cuts off my screen. No, I'm still going strong. OBS works way better than streaming through the native software. Alright, I'm Rosenbaum Draws. This was Israel's Kosher Kitchen. I'm Steven. Y'all know me from fucking everything. Have a good night.